So if you walk here with the How Did I Do Golf Academy, and I'm gonna tell you three ways to help you rip your fairway woods. You're on a par five or a long par four, you go to grab the three wood because you need to get it down there. But actually, that three wood shot is one of the hardest in golf. Why? Because you haven't got a lot of loft on your club. It's a long club and it's not teed up. I'm okay hitting a ball off a tee with a three wood, but when it comes to being off the ground, I'm not the best. It is a weakness of my game. It's a weakness of many people's games. In fact, when I commentate, I've seen John Rahm top one, Justin Thomas the same. Everyone is human, but here is my three top tips for catching your fairway woods properly. John Rahm has a 16.5 degree three wood. Now, most three woods are 15 degrees. So I'm suggesting that loft is your friend. Just crank it up a touch to help you get the ball in the air. And look for three woods with the weight at the back to help with launch, because I'm gonna talk you through almost not launching a three wood. We're gonna change the way you think about it when you take a head cover off and you've got a wood in your hand. Next thing to consider is where you grip your three wood. Now these days, three woods are long, as in long in the shaft, because they want the ball to go further. The longer the club in shaft length, the further it normally goes. And that's great off a tee, but when you're hitting off the ground, I like to try and get some more control. So I grip down ever so slightly on this three wood to get more control, especially of the head at impact. And that is what I'm gonna talk about next. And the final point, how you deliver the club. Now, when we hit driver, we wanna hit it on the up, launch it high. When you've got a fairway wood in your hand, you actually want to hit it with a negative angle of attack. Those of you that have seen Sergio Garcia play, he actually makes a slight divot. And that's what you need to feel on your three woods. It's very easy to top it or catch it out the bottom of the club face so the ball doesn't fly if you're trying to help the ball in the air. We need a slightly negative angle of attack and this tip's gonna help you with that. Really easy, get yourself a tee, put it in the ground, maybe six inches in front of the golf ball. And the feeling is you're gonna hit ball and then keep the club head low so it catches that tee in front. We don't want the club head rising over the top of it. So put it in the ground and get that feeling of crunching into the back of the ball, the descending blow, but the loft that you've got on the club will help it launch into the air. Slightly grip down, negative angle of attack, even slightly more iron swing with this three wood. So I didn't hit the tee, it's not really the point, it's just to get that in your mind that you want to keep the club low. And you can see there, I made a divot and the ball really shot off there, nice penetrating ball flight, but it did fly, it wasn't thin, it wasn't out the bottom and I didn't try and lift it. That is how you get over the dreaded fairway shot, especially with a three wood. It can be difficult, but now you understand how to deliver the club that is gonna help you really crunch into the back of the golf ball. There we go, three tips to help you rip your fairway woods off the ground. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, pass on this video to your friends, I'm sure it can help them too. Thanks for watching, keep watching, I'll see you again soon.